A South Valley mother is trying to spread the word on safe surrender sites. She thinks this is important to do right now after a baby was found abandoned in Madera earlier this week. Our Dennis Valera met her. He's joining us live in the newsroom today. Dennis, she says too many people just don't know about this. Right, Evan. This woman, she has three kids. Two of them have been saved by this program. She says if more people knew about it, she's sure more lives could be saved. The three of them are a crack up together. He has one thing with his brother and one thing with his sister. Don Robinson has adopted herself. So 10 years ago, when she and her husband were ready for kids, they started the process. And that's how she found out about the state's safe surrender program. When we said we wanted an infant, well, we'll hope for a safe surrender. Oh, really? Well, what's that? It's through safe surrender. The Robinsons were able to have Willow and Tyler. The program is simple. A baby can be left at a safe surrender designated site, like a hospital or fire station, within the first three days of its life. No questions asked. Dawn calls it a win-win, and she says it hurts when she hears of incidents like the one in Mandera this week. It just, it crushes me. There's somebody out there that they can't have a child or they just want to help society out, and they'll do anything to take care of that baby. And on the other hand, these people that feel like they have no choice, that's terrible for them too. There is hope. She hopes the Madera case spreads awareness and helps promote the program. If there's publicity out there at like grocery stores or doctor's offices or wherever you might be, then you will more likely be aware of it and be willing to just go straight to the hospital. Now, a reminder, for people who do surrender an infant, you have 14 days to reclaim that infant. Again, no questions asked. Now, on this Madera case, authorities, they are still looking for the parents of this abandoned baby. If you know anything at all, please call the Madera County Sheriff's Office. Live here in the newsroom, Dennis Valera, KC24, Local News That Matters. 